I started my 30s in a picturesque world. I had a supportive husband, a budding photography career, Saturday breakfast with friends, and a daughter who proved every day that motherhood was rich and rewarding. The anticipation of our second daughter's birth reflected that theme. A perfect pregnancy and the excitement of knowing I'd get to do it again. Experience the miracle of birth and that moment, that euphoric moment of being handed my child and seeing her face to face for the first time. That moment came, but I never could have prepared myself for what followed. I knew the moment I first saw Nella that she was different. I knew she had Down syndrome even though everyone else in the room smiled and snapped photos and told me everything was just fine. And my world collapsed as I held my new daughter. Moments that should have been sealed with joy and tears and elated happy birthdays. I was numb. I was grieving the loss of the child I had expected, while the child I welcomed looked into my eyes and begged me to love her. That was my defining moment. I wrote this story because I realized soon after Nella's birth that the unexpected in our life was really an opportunity, a challenge that would stretch my perspective and change me, and I wanted to remember it, all of it, the deepest grief, the tears I cried, the replenishing laughter, the friends and family that showed up, but eventually the greater picture, the fact that you cannot control the things that happen in your life, but you can certainly control the way you spend your life. Bloom is both a love story between mother and child and a reminder of the power of perspective. As Mary Oliver said, what is it you plan to do with your one wild and precious life? And on that day when I thought my world was collapsing, Really, it was just expanding. I hope readers grasp the message of embracing all that life offers, grief included, and making something grand of it.